Hello friends. Today in this tutorial, uh, we are going to learn about recursive in CakePHP. Uh, this tutorial assumes that uh, you know the basics of CakePHP and its a data retrieval method like find and read. Uh, using recursive property, CakePHP will know about the depth of the result uh, that needs to be generated uh, when you use uh, find and read method. Uh, it is needed to set the depth of the retrieval of record uh, that are associated with a model data uh, so we can limit uh, how much data needs to be fetched uh, from the query this property is useful when uh, there are multi levels of association between your models so now let's say for example you have only one module uh, one model uh, called author model so how can you fetch all the records of the author so there is a simple query that uh, you I think you all know that uh, here uh, you can say that uh, you just have to write uh, this query in your author controller like dollar uh, this author and find all so on printing this uh, it will display all the records of author model uh, now we are uh, associating this our author model with uh, on another model called book model so uh, now we have case like uh, one author has many books and uh, in return you can say that uh, uh, a book belongs to an author so to make this whole concept very clear uh, i have created one image uh, so you can have better understanding so let's have a look at that image uh, here you can see that uh, 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 what there is one author and it has many books and here i have also indicated uh, the readers uh, which is our third model uh, you can uh, say that uh, a book has many readers also so now we have total hierarchy like this uh, author has many books a book has many readers and in returns uh, in reverse you can say that a, a readers belongs to a book and a big book belongs to an author so from all uh, this uh, scenario uh, you, when you want to fetch all the records of the books and their associated readers so what you have to do is uh, you just have to uh, add the recursive property before the find query so here in this same uh, same scenario uh, we are uh, implementing the recursive call so you can use the recursive like uh, this way dollar uh, this uh, you have to pass the name of the model uh, all this statement uh, you have to write in your author controller uh, the model name author and recursive and you have to uh, here you have to pass the value uh, that indicates the level that uh, cake php should go uh, into the depth uh, to find the, the data so here i am to i am going to assign the level of uh, the record as a 2 so what is the meaning of 2 here so when I am defining the recursive value as a 2 so it will uh, go and find the record up to the level 2 so now you can see the image uh, uh, very easily that uh, it will fetch the record of the authors as well as the records of book uh, which is at one level and the records of all the readers of that book uh, which, uh, which are at the level 2 so the above statement uh, on printing on these authors it will display all the records of author their books and the readers also so this is very simple introduction that how you can use recursive in cake php this is uh, just simple scenario or simple uses like uh, you just have to define the level and cake php, cake PHP will uh, uh, fetch the result for you by going that uh, level that you have defined for recursive value but uh, there are some few points are there uh, you must know about recursive uh, they are like uh, uh, you must have know that uh, what is the default value of recursive so its default value is 1 so in our case uh, uh, we have 3 levels like uh, uh, sorry 2 levels so if you haven't provided any uh, recursive level then by default it will go up to this level 1 so in our query like uh, if you don't uh, if you don't write this statement like uh, recursive then even though it will fetch the result up to this level like it will uh, display the record of author and as well as their book also so it is is be, uh, default behavior 
so but uh, you must know the requirement of the application and you have to use this recursive very carefully because what can happen uh, let's suppose uh, each author has uh, at least 10 books and you want to just find the records of only author data and in this case you didn't specify the recursive property so what happened cake php will get all the records of author and their books too so let's say for example you have only 50 authors and each of us having 10 books so now you can imagine that uh, the query is going to return lots of unnecessary data so it is recommended that uh, whenever you are uh, fetching any record for from the model data and the model are associated with any another module then you must have to specify uh, uh, the value of recursive according to a requirement so uh, as uh, in this case you have seen that uh, we are getting lots of unnecessary data so how you can get rid, uh, rid of this situation so for this there is one option also so there is uh, by declaring the value of uh, recursive as minus one so it is recommend throughout your application so what it will uh, do for you that uh, this will avoid, uh, avoid retrieving related data when they are unnecessary or even unwanted so mostly it will uh, it will happen when you are using find queries or read query so if you haven't uh, uh, defined that uh, recursive value as we uh, told uh, uh, earlier so it will uh, uh, it will load all the data but uh, that data you don't want so in that case uh, this value will prevent all the unnecessary data uh, to do so you just have to pass the recursive value as minus one in your app model and that's all for all the application whenever you are going to call find method it will not load the unnecessary data so i think that is the basic uh, introduction of uh, recursive in cake php and you understand very well so it was just simple introduction and hope you enjoyed uh, in my next uh, video you will see this recursive live in action so don't miss to watch this video